What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Today, we're going to be taking on the Sacramento State Hornets, and with that, uh, we're going to be playing our former quarterback, Tucker Rovick. He was our quarterback for the first few games of Season 1. Uh, unfortunately, he did not work out very well for us. He threw two touchdowns and ten interceptions. Uh, he's, he's the Bobcats quarterback in real life. He's a pretty good quarterback. But unfortunately, in this alternate reality, he did just did not work out for us. He ended up transferring to Sacramento State, where he's actually an impact player and a pretty good quarterback. And he's looking to get himself some revenge today. Sacramento State is a pretty good team. But we're going to be without our kicker as he keeps missing team meetings. So hopefully we're not going to have to kick too many field goals. We've only attempted, I think, eight so far this season. They are five and four. They're on a little bit of a slide recently. We are currently sitting at five and five. So here's Tucker Rovek at the line of scrimmage, calling audibles and whatnot. He's going to throw that pass, but it's going to fall incomplete. On second down, Rovick is looking to throw again. Fires a strike over the middle. Two bridges, another impact player, and that's going to get them across midfield. First down and 10. Rovick looking to throw for the third straight time, but he's going to go down. Sacked on that play by Mixon. Tried stepping up into the pocket, but instead he wound up stepping up right into a sack. Loss of three on the play. Rovig is going down again. We sent in Tyree Gibson on the cornerback blitz, and he got to him. That's going to lead to third down and 24, where, where he throws an incomplete pass, and Sacramento State's going to have to punt. Deshaun Ralph has returned four punts for touchdowns so far this season, one of the best return men in the country. He's taking this one to the left, makes a move inside, runs a man over down the left sideline. He's across the 30, the 20. Nobody's going to get him. Touchdown, Bobcats, but hold up. Wait a minute. There's a flag on the play, clipping. So instead of a touchdown, we're set back at our own 15-yard line. Anderson is looking to throw on second down and 10. Throwing off his back foot there. And Afonso is going to bring this one in at the 45. A great throw there by Anderson off his back foot. Fit it into a nice small window there for Isaiah. That's going to be a big play for the Bobcats. There Afonso is going to run and pick up five, which sets us up at the 50. Give it to him again. Makes a move inside there. Gets us well into Sacramento State territory. We give it to Afonso again. He loses the football, though. Luckily, we are there to recover it. Second down and 15. It's a high snap there. Anderson's still able to get it out to Afonso, who is luckily able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and long. Troy Anderson is moving to his left, trying to float this one out here for Jake Munoz. And he had it in his hands, but could not hold on to it through the hit there in and out of his hands. And we're going to have to punt. So now Tucker Rovick and Sacramento State have it at the 20-yard line. Rovick fires two back on the right side. That's going to pick up a gain of 11. Bridges gets the handoff. That's going to be a six-yard gain there. On second down, they fake the toss, and Rovick's pass falls incomplete. Third down and four, they go play action. Rovick taking a deep shot. He's got a man open, but he somehow managed to drop it. He was wide open. Rovick did slightly underthrow him, but hey, I'll take it. So now the Bobcats have the football still a, store, a scoreless game late into the third quarter. Matt Ransom is in at quarterback, and he connects with Anderson over the middle, and that's going to pick up a nice chunk of yardage. Ransom looking to pass yet again, moving to his right, floating that one out for Afonso. He's going to get us just to about the 20-yard line. Ransom is still in, throwing that one to the left, but there was no receiver there. Isaiah Afonso with the run, but he's going to lose a yard. That's going to lead to third down and 11. Ransom takes a shot to the end zone looking for Anderson, but his pass falls incomplete. So out comes Jared Pasmos, the punter. He's going to kick this field goal. It is up, and it is good. And we have our first points of the ball game. Bridges gets the handoff for the Hornets there. He's going to pick up some solid yardage. And there is an injured player on the play, Terrence Robinson. And he's going to be missing the rest of the game. Rubik fires to the right side there for Bridges. That gets them out to the 45-yard line and moves the chains. 
Rovig steps up into that one, trying to connect with Bridges, but it falls incomplete. Rovig going to the left side there. Bennett has the reception, and that's going to pick up just enough to move the chains. Edwards now with the reception. That's going to pick up a gain of four. A toss play for Bridges. He's going to throw it back to Tucker Rovick. And he's going to pick up the first down. He runs a defender over. And that's going to get them across the 30. A fresh set of downs now. They're going to go play fake again. Rovick is under pressure. Sacked. He loses the football. But the Hornets do recover. Tyree Gibson getting his second sack today. Rovick fires over the middle, but that pass is going to hit the grass. That's going to lead to third down and long for the Hornets. Taking a deep shot there, but Rovig's pass is going to be knocked away by Jojo Henderson. And that's going to force a Sacramento State punt. We give the football to Afonso. He runs that one to the right side for a gain of three. Anderson's going to run this to the left. He's going to pitch it out to Afonso, and that probably wasn't the best idea as we lose two yards. Third down and nine. Anderson steps up into this one, and he just overthrows Jake Munoz there. So now Sacramento State trying to put together a two-minute drill. Rovig under pressure, throwing off his back foot. He's going to be picked off. JoJo Henderson across the 30, the 20. They're not going to get him. It's a pick six for the Bobcats. 46 yards out for Mr. JoJo Henderson. Rovig was looking to throw, trying to make a play. He stepped up into the pocket under a lot of pressure there. Threw it right to his former teammate in JoJo Henderson. And he took it the distance for the touchdown. So now MSU is going to kick this one off to them. It's going to be just inside of their end zone there. Dickerson is going to bring this one out. Taking this one to the left side. He gets some solid blocking here. A good block there once again. And now he is gone. Touchdown Sacramento State. And that's finally going to get them on the board. And that's going to put them down by just three at the half. Afonso is going to get the carry for the Bobcats to start off the second half. He fumbles the football. Luckily, Eric Dotson recovers it. Ransom is in at quarterback for MSU, running to his right, looking to throw, but once again, he's just going to use his speed, 84 speed to be exact, and that's going to be a good run for him down the sideline. Just one rushing yard for the Hornets so far today. Ifonze gets the handoff here, makes a move inside, gets out to the 27. We give it to him again, but he's going to be stuffed there, and he's going to lose a yard. Anderson runs to the left. He's going to pitch it out to Afonso. It was a good choice this time down the left sideline before he finally steps out of bounds. First down and goal. Anderson's going to take it himself on the designed QB keeper, but he's going to lose a few yards. Now Ransom is looking to throw, trying to go for Afonso, but he overthrew him. Third down and goal. Ransom looking to pass. Running to his right, throws off his back foot, and he is lucky that was not picked off. He threw it into a crowd of Hornets there, and that's going to force us to have to attempt a field goal. He tried to do something, but uh, there wasn't really anyone open there. So out comes Padmos again for this kick. It is up, and it is right down the middle, and that's going to put us up by six. Play action. Rovic fires over the middle there. Berg bring this one in. And that's going to pick up 16 yards. They give it to Bridges, but he's going to get taken down in the backfield for a loss of two. Bridges again with the carry, and it looks like he was able to pick up that lost yardage. Neither team has converted on third down yet today, and that trend is going to continue as John O'Brien gets the sack there on Rovic, and that's going to force them to punt. First down and 10 for MSU. Afonso is going to run this one to the right side. He stiff arms a defender and picks up a gain of 8. Anderson runs to his left. Tries to pitch it out to Afonso, but he fumbles the football. We lost too many fumbles last week trying to pitch it out. Luckily, we recover. Third down and 8. Anderson running to his right. He's going to take off and run down the right sideline across midfield there. And that's going to get us into Sacramento State territory. Here goes Isaiah Afonso, tries to make a move there, but he's going to get brought down in the backfield for a loss of two. Now Ransom's going to pitch this one out to Anderson, who fights off a few tackles, and that's going to make this third down and five. Anderson's going to run, and he's going to pick it up himself down the left side. He's going to get us into the red zone, down to about the 15. A toss play for Anderson, but he's going to get brought down in the backfield for a loss. 
trying to do a little bit of trickery there, but that did not really work out for us. Ransom is in the game still at quarterback, trying to go for Anderson on that pass. It falls incomplete. Once again, looking for Anderson, and once again, his pass falls incomplete. So here is Jared Padmos from 38 yards out. He's two for two today, but this one is not going to be good. Just a bit too far to the left, and that is going to keep this at a six-point game. Sacramento State could take the lead in just one play. That run's going to pick up a gain of two. A toss play for Bridges, who takes this one to the left side, and that's going to move the chains. A toss play again, this one to the right side. Another first down gets them out to midfield. Bridges with the handoff, but he's not going to pick up much. On second down, they give it to Bridges again, who breaks off of some tackles, spinning off the defenders, and that's going to move the sticks. Rovig looking to throw, floating that one to the left side for Bennett, and he's going to bring that one in out to the 24. Rovig throws to the left side there, the right side rather, but that pass is going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10, they give it to Bridges. He's going to take this one to the right side, takes it back inside. That's going to set up third down and 7. They have yet to convert on third down, and it looks like that trend is going to going to continue as Beck brings that one in short of the first down. Fourth down in inches, they're going for it. Bridges runs Josh Hill right over, and they're going to do much more than just convert the fourth down. They're going to take the lead on a 14-yard touchdown run. So with just about a minute and a half in the game, the Bobcats find themselves down for the first time today. Ransom's going to take off and run down the left sideline. That's going to be a good run there for the Bobcats. Matt Ransom moving to his right now. Going to try to connect there with Anderson. It gets tipped, and it's caught there by Eric Dotson. That's going to get us out to the 40-yard line. All we need is a field goal, but remember, our punter is in uh, the game. He has to fill in for the uh, kicker who's suspended. Ransom is running to his right. He's able to connect there with Nate Charles, and that's going to set up third down and one. Anderson is in the game, and he's going to pick up the first down himself before he steps out of bounds. That's going to stop the clock with 50 seconds left. We're going to give it to Afonso. He runs a defender over, but still gets brought down in the backfield for a loss of one. The clock keeps ticking. Anderson runs to his right. He pitches it out to Afonso, trying to get the edge here. That's going to get us inside of the 20. Third down and three. We give it to Afonso, but he's going to get stopped short of the first down marker. We run the clock down to three seconds. Jared Padmos now from 34 yards out. His kick is up, and it is good. He barely got that one into the left up right there. Him and Matt Ransom do a little bit of a dance. My goodness, what a spectacular game. There are zeros on the clock. Jared Padmos with the game-winning field goal. I wasn't sure if that was going to go in. It was curving to the left, but he was able to make it. The Bobcats win 16-14 to over our former quarterback, Tucker Rovig. He tried to get some revenge, but was unable to do so today. We give Coach Choate the, uh, the Gatorade bath there. It was a heck of a ball game. The Bobcats celebrating the road victory, our second to last game of the season was quite the heck of a game. I think that was our lowest scoring game of this series so far, but it was definitely one of the best for us so far. And it was so good, in fact, that it goes down as my number one greatest game so far while playing this game. Tucker Rovick did not really get the revenge. It looked like he was seeking it today. He had 99 passing yards, no touchdowns, one interception, and he was sacked four times. Meanwhile, Matt Ransom was 5 of 11 for 78 yards. Troy Anderson just 1 of 5 for 30 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Anderson was sacked once, though. Afonso had 78 rushing yards, 36 for both Anderson and Ransom. No rushing touchdowns, though. Afonso had two receptions for 61 yards to lead the team, two for 23 for Anderson, and then Charles and Dotson each had one. Our offensive line played pretty good today. They didn't give up any sacks. That one sack was uh, just on me. Uh, the defense also played good. We got a fair amount of TFLs. We got ourselves four sacks, two of them for Gibson, one for O'Brien, and one for Mixon. And then we also got a pick six with JoJo Henderson. And then looking at the kicking, what a day for our kicker to be suspended, man. You wouldn't think that would have happened. 
Looking at the other games in the Big Sky Conference, Eastern Washington got the upset victory over Idaho 38 to 21. And then what about Portland State on a four game winning streak? They were able to upset the Montana Grizzlies 27 to 17. That's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.